Step One Academy. I'm Dr. C. Please join me in this musical journey. Let's go! Here, Holly Lewing, who is a trombonist with Savannah Philharmonic and my dear friend from my uh, Georgia State days. And yeah. uh, it's been, <laughs> that's been a long time. That's, that's, that was like, two, that was, I was uh, there for, yeah. for like 2000, 2001. Yeah. That, and, 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 and her, can I say better half? Is he her better half? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. This is Bill Pritchard, who I also know from that period, but you were not a couple at that time, right? No, no. Well, we were in a group called the Georgia Brass Band, which is a British style brass, brass band, which is amazing. Um, and then also we formed a brass quintet together with some other people that you know called Midtown Brass. And we were in it for like 10 years and um, more, than that. more than that, probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we, when Bill came back from the army and I came back from CIM, we kind of like, Reconnected and we connected. <laughs> we connected, brother. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So music has been something that that actually brought you together, right? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 I started in sixth grade. Uh, it was going to be actually trombone or violin. Um, oh. and so um, I don't know. I'm glad I picked trombone. My dad had one at the house, so he didn't have to buy one. So that went well for him. You. You are. A, um, an amazing player, first of all, an amazing musician. You, you don't often see, uh, you know, a girl in, in, in sitting, you know, in that, in that area of the orchestra, and then, you know, you're just rocking it. Uh, <laughs> thank you. So, Bill, how did you start? Um, so, I saw Clarence Clemens, who is the saxophone player for Bruce Springsteen. I saw him on MTV. And I think he was playing a Barry at the time. And I was like, I want to play saxophone. And that was like in fourth grade. And I started playing and I was terrible. I was really horrible. <laughs> and, but when I, would over, <laughs> when I would overblow the instrument, it sounded like, like a Barry to me. And so I would do that and my teacher would go, no. <laughs> so um, she's like, maybe you want to try another instrument? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so then I, I was a percussionist until high school and uh, played drum set in like little rock and roll bands in middle school. Um, and then um, my freshman year, I walked in and there were, I think there were like, it was about a 30 person band for the whole school. And there were, I think, 15 incoming percussionists. <laughs> oh my God. The percussion galore. Yeah. So they were like, um, so does any of you actually want to play in band before you graduate? And I was like, and so they stuck a tuba in my lap and I honked out a note and they were like, oh my God, do that again. And I did. They go, okay, play a higher one. I said, okay. And they said, play a lower one. And they were like, great. So they, they went and grabbed the the, the principal trumpet player of our band out of his math class. And he ran in, he took the music um, for like the stand music and he wrote in all my fingerings. And then they said, here you go. You'll be playing at the football game on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> that's, and I said, what, what that's, I was doing. <laughs> Let's move on to, to, to your instruments. So why don't we, you know, ladies first, of course, can we, <laughs> can we talk about, can we talk about trombone? So trombone, of course, is the only instrument with a slide. Mm -hmm. um, 
no no keys no valves it's it really works like any other brass instrument trumpet trombone french horn tuba you know euphonium they actually all work exactly the same you just have a vibration with your lips and blow air at the same time so air and vibration create the sound um the instrument's just an amplifier for like a basic buzz which would just be you know you know as silly as that looks everybody always laughs when we do that but that is literally <laughs> all we're doing inside this instrument. <laughs> oh. So when you say, uh, when you say slide, uh, the only instrument that has a slide, so that's how you're actually changing uh, your notes, the pitch, right? You can change your, your uh, notes that way, just as a, the other um, brass instruments can use their fingers. But actually, um, I could be in one position, not move my slide at all, and play a ton of different notes, just okay. by lift. Awesome. So I think uh, that uh, thing that we are seeing right now in the in the shot is is called a mouthpiece. I, I believe that's yep. one that. Yep. Or I actually had the same trombone actually for 15 years, and I just recently switched, like probably going on two years now, where we went up to a factory, the Shires factory, um, and they, you know tested me for trombones and I had two handmade trombones, my bass and my tenor. A lot of people have tons of different mouthpieces. Bill has a lot of mouthpieces. Um, I don't, I just play on one for my tenor and one for my bass. So basically from top to bottom, um, these are the, these are the uh, tuning slides and this is, this is how, this would be like going back here, but I'm just gonna show in the shot like this way um the bell the mouthpiece and of course the slide goes all the way down like this and you're gonna hold it and i can turn the camera this way like this it rests on your shoulder right yes so it rests on your left shoulder and you support the weight of the trombone with your left hand and then uh your right hand actually is the one to move the slide and it goes really far um and there there's trombones are pretty basic there's like uh, a basic trombone you would get when you're, you know, starting out. This is, um, you know, a they're called a tenor trombone and then a tenor trombone with an F attachment. So without getting too detailed, this just adds more tubing. So the more tubing, the lower the instrument becomes. Do you know how, how, how long the, the tube would be if it's stretched out on the trombone? No, but my nerdy husband does. And <laughs> he says it's nine feet. of the brass family. Um, a, a standard B-flat tuba is 18 feet long when you stretch it out. 
Wow. So, yeah, <clears throat> you know, if you think about it, um, you know, since octaves, you're dividing, you know, if it's string, if you wanted to go up an octave, you divide the string in half. So for a B flat tuba, that's 18. <clears throat> up one octave is trombone, that's nine. To trumpet is four and a half. You can see though, the mouthpieces are, are pretty different in size. I'm gonna turn this way. Like yeah. my, mine's a good bit bigger. Yeah. So, so there are some, some things that are a little bit different, but it's the same kind of <clears throat> kind of idea, right? And then you put, you know, on here. And then you put it in the instrument to make a sound. In, in its most basic state, a brass instrument can have as little as three valves. So with three valves, uh, you can play down chromatically, right? So, uh, and actually each of them correspond to the trombone slide position. Yep. So they work in sort of the same way. So that like first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seven positions, just like on the trombone. And there are seven positions on the trombone. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So tuba gets really kind of wild in that um, there are four main pitches of tubas. So you have B flat, you have C, you have E flat and F. Okay. So typically in orchestras, you use the C tuba. Uh, but for some of the uh, earlier repertoire or for some of the stuff that's written higher, you would use an F tuba in an orchestra. So um, the so actual... They're they different in, in size, right? I mean, yeah. higher they kind of uh, get... Length of the tube. So it's 18, 16, uh, it's like 13, and then I think it's like 12 for an F tuba, but don't, don't quote me on that. It's somewhere around there. Probably the weirdest thing I do is a project that I call Amplituba. So um, I actually put a microphone right down the bell there. <laughs> and you can wow. see Velcro strips. So uh, the microphone goes into there. And then it goes through a number of different effects. So most of them are either guitar or bass effects. So there's things like delay, um, distortion. There's, uh, there's, there's ones that change the pitches. Uh, then it goes through a loop pedal so that I can play something, record it, and have it going while I'm, while I'm playing. And it goes out to an amplifier. <laughs> oh, so you're, you're catching whale sounds. Yeah. <laughs> from, from the depth of tuba. <laughs> yes. You know, I, I, I recorded um, a solo album that's out. It's on Spotify uh, awesome. called, called Amplitude. Awesome. And I've recorded... I'll, I'll have to get on that bandwagon. You gotta, you gotta let me play with you something. You sure. Know? <laughs>
so I'm an artist for Eastman Wind Instruments, so I play an Eastman tuba. Uh, I'm an artist for Parker mouthpieces, so I play the, par the Parker tuba mouthpieces. I'm also an artist for Earthquaker Devices, which is an effects pedal. And I'm an artist for Shires trombone, so I have oh. both a, a bass and tenor Shires, and I play those, and it's awesome. And okay, guys, thank you so much. This was such a pleasure.